And welcome back, everyone, to Who Would Win? Uh, it's actually the week of What If. I was about to say the week of Who Would Win, but it's the week of What If. There will be a What If out later today, plus a couple extra videos, because I'm on vacation. So <laughs> that means I've got, I don't have any set plans for the week. I might go out a couple days and do, like, have a day trip with my girlfriend or something. But, uh, no, it's going to be, it's a staycation. These, day, these days, I don't go on vacation to go places. I go on vacation to just recharge the batteries. And so it's going to be a good full week of doing nada and i am looking forward to it and therefore i'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands so then there's a bunch of topics i've been wanting to talk about but uh have been had the time to do so so i'm gonna have a lot of free time on my hands with that being said though from and did i get the name right conan uh not conan with a c but conan with a uh conan k-o-n-e-n -E did i get that right you asked the question, who would win in a fight? Denji from Chainsaw Man versus Wolverine from Marvel. These two are basically two unkillable death machines in many ways. Or nigh unkillable. Uh, Wolverine, we've done him multiple times. We know Wolverine. James Howe was born in the 1800s. His mutation awakened, giving him animal-like senses, enhanced physicality, an immense healing factor, and blown cause. Later, sometime down the, down the road, he was... Uh, after being through several wars, he was basically put into the Weapon X program, where his mind was wiped, turned into a killer, and adamantium was infused into his body. As Wolverine Logan, he is, he's, I believe he's called, uh, classified as a beta-level mutant, which means that his mutation isn't world-ending, it's simply just something that's there, because it goes, I believe, gamma, I think there might be some uh, spots in between that, because it's technically... Um, technically without uh, alphabetical and omega is beyond that. Uh, but it's alpha or it's gamma, then it's beta. Alpha is like something like Cyclops who has world possible destruction power, but they're not on average a world ender. And then omega is world level plus beyond uh, or omega level plus. I don't know if there's anything beyond omega, but regardless, Wolverine's a beta level mutant because his abilities while, you know, effective aren't world threatening. Still, Wolverine is hundreds of years old, is actually very intelligent. Uh, McCoy once tracked his brain waves while he was doing a danger room simulation, and he said it was like the equivalent of like four or like four Olympic athletes um, doing um, doing 40 chest uh, chest simultaneously or something like that. Like Wolverine's actually very intelligent. It's just that he also has a lot of you know animal rage, things along those lines. So it's it balances out a bit. Wolverine's a skilled martial artist. He's also just an ex exceptionally dangerous hand and fighter in general due to his adamantium claws. Which, obviously, let's get into that. Adamantium is a non-indestructible material that, unless you are able to warp reality, have molecular manipulation, or you are uh, able to, or you literally have the sheer strength, the literal strength to break it. And I mean, you need to have the strength of like multiverses. Even the Hulk, even Thor cannot break adamantium very easily. Even the Hulk cannot break adamantium very easily. Um, and even then, when they have, it hasn't necessarily been true adamantium. It's been secondary adamantium. Because there are different types of adamantium out there. Kind of like vibranium, there's actually different types of adamantium. There's secondary adamantium, which is a little bit more, if I remember correctly, malleable. And it's a little thinner and just a little less durable than normal adamantium, so it's is e easier to destroy. Those are the adamantiums that have been um, uh, destroyed, have been actually damaged by Thor or Hulk before. But true, true adamantium, or um, I think it's also got a term like bio adamantium or something like that, because it, when it's bonded to like Wolverine's bones, it's not impeding like um, bone marrow or anything like that, so it's effectively bonded. Uh, that adamantium is argue, actually technically more du uh, durable than vibranium, but if you get like Antarctic vibranium, it's gonna, because of the way that works, it will melt the metal. Um, but yeah, it, that, that adamantium, you basically just need straight out molecular manipulation, uh, reality warping, things along those lines. Uh, because of that, Wolverine never has to sharpen his claws. He can, in essence, cut through anything. I mean, he has to apply the right amount of force. For example, he can't cut through uh secondary adamantium even though it's technically weaker uh just because it's just because it's, sl it's slightly stronger he, you would need the right amount of force to do so and even then because they're so close that could arguably damage his claws 
um, because they're almost the same in terms of like strength consistency. Same with like Cap Shield, which is the only thing stronger than adamantium because it's a mix of, I believe, adamantium, vibranium, and like something else. It's like a mix of all of those. So it is the only thing, it's one of the only metals, materials stronger than adamantium out there. Uh, but beyond that, Wolverine's healing factor means he can pretty much survive anything, more or less. There are limits, but the limits are very high, um, depending on what the writers decide to do. Sometimes the writers do really stupid things with that. Uh, just like I see a bunch of, oh, Spider-Man humbles the Avengers. Yet real Spider-Man could easily beat Wolverine. I've, if that's not a versus I've done yet, but that's all down to writing. Wolverine has shown on multiple occasions he could kill Spider-Man if you really want to. And... Vice versa, Spider-Man's showing the same. He can beat Wolverine, so it's really just who's writing the story. Um, that said, uh, Wolverine, it takes a lot, a lot to kill Wolverine. Uh, he survived literally being nuked by Nitro. Like, literally being nuked. But because his brain was still there, he was able to still regenerate. Somehow, some way, he still is able to come back from that. Uh... So, if the man can survive a nuke, thanks to his adamantium skeleton. If he hadn't had his adamantium skeleton, he actually might have died. But because he had his adamantium, he survived. Ironically, if you remove his adamantium and he's only got his bone claws and standard abilities, he will continue to mutate. He's a mutant that actually continues to mutate. And his healing factor, it just increases drastically. So, it's arguable that if he did not have his adamantium skeleton and he kept evolving into that weird primal caveman version of himself that he could maybe even survive because he'd already start regenerating with the explosion. Maybe. Uh, but because of this, he's all, because of his healing factor, he's always in peak physical health. Uh, he's in beyond peak human condition. He can lift a good ton or two. Uh, and he's, I, I don't know if he still has the ability, but he actually for a while had the ability to superheat his claws with, uh, by getting angry, which was interesting. It was tied to his feral rage, which if he goes into a feral rage state, kind of just ignores uh, ignore, ignores uh, pain and just goes all out. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Wolverine is an exceptionally dangerous individual. Denji, the Chainsaw Man, was um, born, basically, I be, if I remember his origin correctly, I don't watch Chainsaw Man, so you'll have to bear with me on his origin a little bit. I did look look up his abilities prior, but I believe he was born in debt to like a uh, like in debt to like a mafia boss or something like that and he um and therefore he was kind of like raised as a kid just to need work for them and paying off a uh, paying off a debt or something like that and because of that he's one of the things he's done is learn to tolerate a lot of pain because he's given up like minor organs fingers he's given up parts of his body just to like pay off debts it's kind of fucked up uh but he ultimately be friends i can't remember the name of the dog kuzu or something like that but the, the, little, the little round dog is actually the chainsaw demon and he makes a contract with it where basically it infuses with him and he's got this rip cord in him that when he rips the cord he turns into the chainsaw man the chainsaw demon more or less and because of that uh, he's exceptionally powerful. Like he can just tear apart normal demons, like most normal de uh, or devils, I would say, uh, without uh, too much difficulty. His chainsaws are, are fr uh, frighteningly powerful. He's capable of making multiple of them, even throwing them and kind of like navigating them. Uh, he also made a contract with apparently the blood demon or blood devil, and therefore he can uh, make a chainsaw out of blood of uh, from his friend Power, which is very interesting. There, he has an evolved form, like a hybrid form, an advanced form, which is kind of like Wolverine going berserker, that was able to defeat, mult is, is, a, is so hard to defeat, because uh, he can kind of ignore most basic attacks, no problem. He can tank small gunfire, he can tank explosions. Even if he's decapitated, he can survive, because as long as the rip card gets pulled, he can come back. And even when he's gone to hell, he's been back several minutes later and just ripping things apart. So these are two guys that basically cannot die. He has have a weakness though in anemia. If he loses too much blood, he will just straight up kind of either die or go into like a coma state. I would also question if you pull the rip cord, if you grab the rip cord while he's the, uh, if you grab the rip cord, pull it, if you cut the rip cord and kill him, would you, he, would he be unable to come back because the rip cord is damaged? I I don't know. That's not a weakness I think that's ever been brought up, but theoretically that could work. But to be fair, if he's dead, someone else has to pull the ripcord. If he dies in this fight, I still call that a um, 
uh, I, I still call that a win on Wolverine's part. Yeah, maybe it's not a permanent win, but it's still a win. There's all, it should be noted too that the chainsaws cannot cut through metal, uh, at least not in the initial chainsaw man form. As he gets stronger, maybe they could get cut through metal at that point. But yeah, because they can't cut through metal in general, unless it's like thin metal, indes non indestructible metal, he's not cutting through Wolverine. So these two meet in combat. Wolverine's maybe been dealing with some devils or whatever, and the Chainsaw Man has been dealing with devils, and so they meet, and they think the, one of them is a, and they think the other is just another opponent. Uh, Denji probably thinks, oh, okay, I don't know what devil you are, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm about to kill you. He's like, get out of here, bub. It's like, uh, it's like, you want to go too, bub? Rah! He's like, yeah, big clash. And Denji's gonna be on the losing side of that fight pretty quick. Wolverine's far more experienced. He's actually probably stronger than. A base transformation, Denji. That being said, um, uh, not that being said, uh, like as he get in his stronger transformations, uh, I would imagine he is stronger than Wolverine because he can like lift the full, a car just straight over his head. So I do say he will outmatch Wolverine's strength in later transformations, but initially they're probably on par. Maybe Denji's got a little bit of strength on him, but not by much. Either way, though, he's going to immediately bring the chainsaws down on him. Just... It's like, it's like, what the... It's like, huh? It's like, he's got... His skeleton's made of metal. He changes his birds. It's like, adamantium, bub. And he just comes in, just starts tearing him apart. Like, then you can keep going with, from, with missing limbs. But it's kind of irrelevant if you can't reattach that shit. If Wolverine's just literally tearing him apart. If Wolverine... Um, I'm sorry, if Denji is able to go into his hybrid form, he is going to start out-muscling Wolverine, definitely. Uh, but I think the problem here in the battle of attrition, and that's what this really comes down to, it's a battle of attrition, is that A, Wolverine has an automatic healing factor. Yes, Devil Man, uh, Chainsaw Man has a healing factor as well, absolutely, but it's just not the same type as Wolverine's. He needs to consume, uh, Denji needs to consume blood in order to regrow or reattach limbs or anything like that. Uh, now that being said, if he, like, say, cuts Wolverine drink some of his blood, that would be interesting. Would he gain Wolverine's healing factor? I don't think he would. As far as I can tell, or, uh, tell he doesn't gain those abilities. Um, but that being said, I doubt he would, because Wolverine would just be stealing Wolverine's blood, because Wolverine would be healing up. Add on to the fact that, um, I uh, think words here. Add on to the fact that he needs to be drinking copious amounts of blood in order to be able to, like, regenerate himself. So, in a battle of attrition, this would go on for a while, especially if Genji goes to full strength. But he's definitely runs into a problem where he has nothing to actually put Wolverine down with. Like, like his chainsaws, as powerful as they are, are not cutting out Amantium. They're just not. And before, and I know someone's going to argue, he can beat all the devils, he can beat the, like, the nuclear arms of the Nazi devil, and then that's kind of why they don't exist in that world. Uh, and the cancer devil, like, he beat all those devils. Like, yes, but A, that's a different type of fighting. B, Wolverine's been to hell and fought like hell. So that kind of is irrelevant in the conversation. And B, that doesn't change durability levels at all. Like, if there's a bomb devil, Wolverine could probably survive the bomb devil's abilities. Um, like, seriously, like, if a fire devil, Wolverine could survive being set on fire. He's done it multiple times. Like, there's, despite the mild level of, um, what's well, not existential, that's not the right term I'm looking for. Uh, conceptuals, uh, conceptual levels of fighting. It's not truly conceptual fights. They're not. They're not fighting on a conceptual level. They are just a being that physically represents that concept. And hypothetically, because the chainsaw devil has defeated those thing, uh, devils and actually eaten them, I believe those concepts don't exist. But while they have the abilities of those concepts, they're not actually like fighting on a conceptual plane of existence. They're still fighting in the real world. For example, humans, devil hunters, can kill devils. Uh, and they all represent something. So I don't, at least in his world that you can. So I don't think that works in terms of an argument for Denji. And like I said, this is a battle of attrition. Wolverine has lasted far longer in fights than Denji sadly has. And he's just far, and his weapons are always on call, whereas, and 
can cut Denji. Denji can't cut through Wolverine. The only scenario I could see it possibly working is if he gets Wolverine in the neck and hits his um and hits his um vertebrae and right and right near the joint. But that being said, that kind of is only relevant in certain um uh in certain me uh comic universes. For example, Wolverine in the Ultimate Universe could have his limbs torn off. In fact, he had his head uh, he had his head taken off and he was still talking. So Wolverine in the Ultimate Universe could have that happen. The Marvel main universe Wolverine doesn't actually have that issue because even the uh, cartilage with his joints has been partially infused with that amantium. I believe that's the explanation. So he can't actually have his limbs ripped off. At least as far as I remember. Um... And he can't, like, be torn in half or anything in the traditional way. Now, something like the Muramasa blade, I believe, could cut his uh, head off, if I'm not mistaken. But it would take a lot. And you need to angle it right, uh, so forth and so on. So, yeah, I uh, I don't see it being likely because it's not a clean head. Chainsaws are, are not clean cutting weapons. Wolverine's adamantium is still very much going to be a problem. A, in fact, a chainsaw is a lot thicker than a katana blade, which makes it a lot more difficult of a uh, thing to do. Uh, so, in terms of a battle of attrition, I do think Wolverine's just going to ultimately win. I think he's going to start taking limbs off. Denji might be able to get some blood from wherever and start to help the help himself regenerate, but it's not going to matter as Wolverine just takes just takes it to the body, takes it, just rips him apart. Uh, and uh, if he comes back a second time, Wolverine and him will go again. Wolverine's going to be tired. Maybe then he could knock him out or something, but ultimately it's irrelevant as if Wolverine's able to take him out one more time. And this time cuts out the part with the rip card, takes it, maybe like tosses it into the ocean or something like that, or make sure puts it like in cement or something like that. And be like, yeah, you're not coming back this time. Pup. <laughs> like I can see that because Wolverine's not an idiot. Uh, so yeah, I would, I would say Wolverine takes this fight. It would be a long drawn out fight though. These guys would be ripping into each other. But until then, that's my thoughts. What do you think? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Later.